Hi Aquarians. Thank you for viewing me today. My name is Elena. Welcome to Searchlight Tarot or welcome back. We are in Aquarius season right here. It's starting. Uh oh, you guys. It's starting. I got the fool flipping out. This is the zero major arcana. It's Aries slash Aquarius energy. But Aquarians, um, if this sounds like your current energies, this is your reading. And the fool is about getting ready to start new things, taking a little bit of a chance, a risk, feeling as if your slate is clean. I'm going to do one shuffle. Love the way that card turned around for you, Aquarius. All right, I guess my spirit guides have a big message for you today because they gave me <clears throat> the dream. If you've never viewed me, I always go by how I feel and the cards are given to me and I have the fool with the dream Aquarians. It's like you're taking your right now. It's like the retrograde just stopped. So everything's a little stationary, but you have a dream. There's a vision that you have that you're you're ready to take a new leap of faith with. Thank you spirit guides for the trailer. I do one more quick shuffle. A look at your recent past after this. A little bit. The incoming energies for the next few weeks for my beautiful Aquarians in their birthday season. And then love crossing towards the end. Spirit guides. Strongest energies. Thank you for the trailers for my Aquarians. Around the sign of Aquarians. The stream, the stream is four, please. This reading is four. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know, I just heard that, this dream. Um, I have awareness under the deck and I have it with rebirth. Wow, Aquarians, I'm kind of sensing a theme here. I'm kind of sensing a theme. If, if your energies right now are starting to feel like you're coming out of a fog, like you're rebirthing yourself. It's like you have an awareness now. You know, it's like coming out of, I really do feel like you're coming out of a fog and there's something you're willing to take a risk, of, a risk with, a leap with. It's your dream. You have a dream. I have consciousness. It's like something inside of you has been waking up. And I have it with morality. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's magnificent, you guys. Morality is about we are just human. What is real, what is not. And I feel that right now, if this is your reading, you're taking, a, you're taking a risk, you're getting ready. There's a dream you have, Aquarians. And this is about rebirth with the awareness. Yeah, I remember your last reading was... Um, uh, you're handed the ace of truth. It, it suit me. I mean, it's been almost two weeks. So I feel that right now you had some awarenesses recently, a lot of them, and it's woken up your subconscious mind. It's like, you just have awareness. Now you're ready to take a leap. I have the rebel with the new vision. You guys, it's all the same cards. My cards are always lined up for me. The rebel. Yeah. It's Aquarius. It's like you're fighting for, for what is right. And you have a new vision about what is right, where you need to go. That sounds like your current energies. I'm looking at your recent past a little bit, just a little bit. It always brings me here and it makes me look at some things that may have been roadblocks. The King of Cups, that's the King of Commitment oh, with a lot of emotional disappointments. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, words. That always left you feeling a little stuck, Pisces. All right, I grabbed this deck. I never know who's under them. I just cleanse and shuffle, but let's look. Recent past, please spirit guides. This is good for all placements, if I didn't say that. Sun, rising, moon, and Venus for Aquarius spirit guides. Recent past, why are these in their current energies? Oh, crossroads. Recent past for my beautiful Aquarians. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Anything else? That's all I need. Crossroads, I feel it. King of Cups is under the deck again. Hmm. There was something you've recently been through that put you at a crossroads, and now you're rebirthing a new you with a dream. I have the King of Cups, Nine of Wands. I have something that's been quite a bit, bit, uh, quite a bit foggy. I have the Moon. Recent past. This is something you've recently been through. I feel you felt like you were in a fog. No matter how hard you wanted to get something to a higher level of love. You always felt wounded about it. Like you always felt is it or it could have been with the king of water, but something recently in your past Aquarians, I have the world and I have the 10 of wands and then I have the 10 of cups. You have two tens and I have it with the five of swords and the hanging man. The only thing that ever left you stuck from being connected to anything with love is I feel some type of 
emotional betrayal you've had in your past. Just feel it. If you're reading it, you're reading, but I got the Three of Swords to my left. Page of Swords, sideways, Three of Wands in the middle, and Four of Pentacles. I feel you blocked your own energies from something that recently hurt you and it hurt hard. But what it did is it made you started to think of something in a new way. Because coming into your current energies, you're all about rebirth and taking a leap of faith. And you are a rebel right now. I mean, you have a new vision, Aquarians. Right now, it's your season. It's We're rolling into it. It's like you have all the awareness, a new vision for rebirth from whatever has blocked you from the past. You started thinking about something in a new way from all these pains you've had. Another three. Something at a distance. Three of Wands. It's something that you were envisioning at a distance. Maybe it was somebody at a distance, something from you at a distance, but you kept looking out. You had a new vision. I can, I know you guys are like, oh, there she goes. I'm sorry, but I see it. I see new vision, rebirth, the dream, and the fool. I saw the way the cards pop, popped out. Four of Pentacles of Sideways is you decided, you know what? I can't keep holding back. I can't keep holding on too tight from something that's hurt me. Because I do believe recently in your past, you realize that there were some chapters in your life that needed to close. Spirit closed them for you because they wanted you to rebirth the new beginnings. And it's right, oh here, right there, rebirth the new beginnings. I'm going to look at what is coming in for you now and then I'll do Love Crossing. My incoming energies happen in a week to two weeks, right in there, if this is your reading. I'm sorry, I'm being nosy. All right, I'm pretty much right on the money, I feel. Psychic tarot cards. I do love this deck. The shadow side, intuition with a lot of power. Wow. Incoming. Let's just see what pops out. The shadow side. Wow. Coming out of the shadows. Realizing that your light is more important than anything, the power, the sun. I just feel these energies. Incoming cards, please, spirit guides. Thank you for Aquarius. Thank you. In the next week to two weeks, strongest incoming for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you, spirit. Anything else you want to tell Aquarians about the incoming energies? Thank you. Anything else? Here it is right here, you guys, you're moving on. And when I say moving on, I mean you're leaving, you're leaving any situations in your life that have left you in the shadows, in a gray area. You know, you're, you're it's like, it's, you know what's pushing you forward is all the things in your life that you've been discontent and bored with. In other words, in the incoming energies, you're out of here. If something isn't creating any type of firm foundation in your life, meaning, feeling as if you're completely connected to everything around you, you ain't, you, you're you going to move on because this is about foundation and achievements. And it's about bossing up. That's my four of wands, you guys, with firm foundation. But let's see what they gave me. I have positive movement forward. There goes my Aquarians. And over to my left, I have ooh, patience and planning. I picked up the Ten of Cups with that. It looks to me, Aquarians, that you are sailing towards the sun. Nothing's stopping you. I have firm foundation. Look at that pillar of gold. The winds are picking up. It's your season, Aquarius. There's your sun. Aquarius' sun on your ship in the wind. You're going towards something new and you're going towards anything in your life that is foundation and achievements and everything is opening up for you. Look at the rainbow. Here comes spiritual strength. When you have spiritual strength, anything is possible. It's going to hold you up through whatever you're going after, Aquarians. It's an immense amount of light and spiritual strength. I have memories of love. And then they gave me fulfillment of wishes. Happy birthday. You know, memories of love is a card of the things that we cherish that are still aflamed in our heart. Spirit wants me to tell you to hold on to those. Hold on to the love that's still aflamed in your heart to go after your dream. Something's opening up for you. It's with spiritual strength. It's something that's just going to go, boof. You're flying. You're going. You're going towards the sun. You're going towards your fulfillment of wishes. Wow, Aquarians. Look at the gold. Look at that. 
All right, thank you. That was beautiful, but I'm gonna get some cards. She's just gonna tie all of this together and I like to see a little bit. Um, it will give me stronger messages for you. And then I'll do Love Crossing. Hmm. I'm being pulled to the Celtic Cross Tarot card. Don't know why. Four of Pentacles is under the deck for that passionate brand new opportunity. Two of Pentacles and it's time to let something go. And I mean go that has hurt you too long because you got the chariot coming in and it's with the Hierophant with justice. Listen, you guys, I'm just going to tell you, something is coming together for you. Yep. But first, you need to move on from whatever you've been going back and forth about that has not been serving you in any form or fashion. It's time for you to move forward. I have positive moving forward. I saw the chariot and meaning that the chariot is using your intuition with no emotion, maneuvering how you must go towards victory and success. Spirit guides, why are these oracles here from Aquarians? Thank you. What messages do you have for Aquarius in the incoming energies? Anything else for Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit Guide. Anything else for the sign of Aquarius incoming? There's your Ten of Cups. Pardon me for a moment. To my left, Ten of Cups. Underneath the deck is the Two of Wands. It's time for you to move forward. Meaning that you got, you got big wins coming in. It's pushing you forward towards something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. But the Two of Wands can be a place of looking into the globe too long because you're afraid to take a chance with something. That's what I feel. Because you're coming into the Queen of Pentacle energy. Meaning this is a very, very, very beautiful queen of attracting abundance because this queen is grounded, knows her self-worth, whether you're male or female, a very nurturing queen. And maybe somebody's coming in to help you and you're about to receive something here. You got the Six of Pentacles. That's a card of equal give and take. Wow, with the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. Looks to me like once you choose what it is that you really want, Aquarians, everything's coming in for you to help you build something could be with someone else or other people but let's take a look i have the two of pentacles sideways two of wands two of pentacles sideways it's time for you to stop juggling it's time for you to come back into the sun patience is sideways meaning that temperance is here with the sun that's leo energy i feel that this is telling me it's time for you to decide what it is that you want to go after you know maybe it's a, a, a higher level of spirituality maybe it's a better relationship a better job but Spirit wants to say, it's time for you to do this. It's time for you to, because you're about to get the push. I have the tower in front of me. And I have it with the almighty high priestess. This is beautiful. The high priestess in the tower. Well, this is telling me another major arcana. And then you have two cards left. And it's with the chariot. So it's time for you to use your intuition. Destroy the old beliefs, the old structures that really haven't been serving you. Trust in your intuition. It's a very silent energy of honoring what you know. And they want to tell you it's time for you to go after what you want using intuition because this is the chariot and it's all about intuition. Cancerian energy. You know, maneuvering yourself around something and it's time for you to rebuild a new you. Last two cards is I have the Five of Cups and here's, here's the King of Cups coming in again. The King of Cups is very mature water energy about balancing the heart and the mind above the body of emotion. It's the King of a higher level of commitment with love. But with the Five of Cups here, they want to tell you to let go of whatever emotional disappointment you've been through. It's just a rabbit hole and there's nothing down there for you. I call it the junkyard of emotion. Because see those two cups behind you with the rainbow? This card is staring at me. You see the rainbows? You see the four of foundation and achievements coming in and the rainbow. The two cups want to be filled. It's something coming in for you to have the spiritual strength because you're about to receive a lot of fulfillment of your wishes, Aquarians. Don't hold on to anything from the past that has hurt you. It's time for you to move forward because you're coming back into your season. Let's get back into the sun. Everything is going to be work, be fine. It's all going to work out. Have the spiritual strength to balance and blend everything and trust your intuition because you have the Ten of Cups. You have wish fulfillment. You have everything coming in for you. And Spirit is saying, let's go. 
Oh, oh my God, look at <laughs> New beginnings. Okay, I don't know why I picked them up and shuffled like that, but let's look. I'm going to get two messages, maybe three, and then roll into love crossing. You know, I got to tell you, today I did wake up and I felt this. And this is incoming, so I started feeling like more spiritual strength about things just opening the sun and the rainbows. I really did. We're a little stagnant from the retrograde, but the winds, see, buddy agrees, the winds are going to pick up. Fair <laughs> guys, two messages for my Aquarians today. Thank you. What do you want to tell Aquarius? Two messages about this reading. Yeah, I got one more. I knew it was going to go to the right. I was going to say it to the right. <laughs> All right. I don't know what this one says. I don't know what any of them say. Okay. First card to my left. They gave you the three of Michael. Angel Michael. Angel of air. Release the past. You will grow from this situation or that situation. Time heals all wounds. Let it go. Come back into your sun. You got fulfillment of wishes coming in. They gave you the six of Ariel. That's beautiful. Material needs get fulfilled in magical or unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Wow, Aquarians. It's like as soon as you're open and ready to receive, it's all going to come in for you. And here's the last card. You're ready. Looks like you're going to be on your... Uh, Pegasus soon enough and fly in. They gave you the seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. Go for it, Aquarians. Whatever it is that is your dream, spirit is saying in the incoming energies, when you feel that push, go. Go towards the sun. Something is about to become a fulfillment of your wishes. It's going to create a lot of happiness. This is what I have for you. This was beautiful. You know, it is your season. So let's uh, all come back into the sun and be grateful and open and ready to receive. Happy birthday. All right, I'm rolling into Love Cross. And if you're not dealing with anyone, remember to hit that like button. Thank you very much, Aquarius, for all your love and support. All right, Love Crossing. I'm going to get one deck. I'm just trying to figure out who it is I want to use. And as for the strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Aquarius, they, these may not all be your persons. Oh my goodness, they had the tower moment with the tower, four of pentacles, page of swords, queen of wands, tower, page of swords. Wow. Uh, I feel that it's somebody who stood up for something too much and they started having tower moments. Like all of a sudden they just have an epiphanies about something. Because the tower is things that were built on an old structure and it's time to rebuild it. Strongest love crossing energies for the sign. My Aquarians, please, thank you. Strongest love crossing. Oh my God, that card was in your last reading. Strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. Who is in my arm? You guys got the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone who is sneaky and deceptive and, and is ashamed of it. And I have the devil landing on my chest. Look at this, you guys. Oh, my God. Listen. Everybody does some things sometimes that they truly regret. But somebody got pulled into a very unhealthy situation and they have a lot of remorse about it. They kept getting pulled into something. I think it changed their behavior. It just, I just what I feel. I really do. Seven of Swords is a card of remorse. Uh, three of Swords is to my left. Somebody who's gone through a lot of broken hearts. It's somebody who's tired of feeling like everything they do, they always end up with a broken heart. I have a Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. It's somebody who wants to come towards you and put some work into something with you. They want to see something come to fruition. I don't know what happened. I'm not here to take sides. I have the full sideways, but I feel they've been a little reckless with love. They haven't been 100% in. Seven of Cups sideways. Seven Cups love. Seven options. Seven choices. Very disillusioned. They don't know if they were coming or going half the time. Queen of Wands is staring at me sideways. I feel like it's someone who was just all over the place. And the last... Oh, I got two. Oh, wow. 
there are a lot, you know, when I see sideways to me, they're given to me a certain way because it's someone who's has been very um, unsure about things. They don't want to fight anymore about anything. They're, this is the wounded warrior sideways. They really have been looking at the things in their life that have been out of whack, uh, judgment, meaning that they still are holding on to some things, but they're starting to release others is what I feel. And I have it with justice, this big Libra. I have the Emperor, someone who's starting to step up to the plate here, <laughs> Aries, and it's with their Queen of Pentacles. And I don't feel that it's any type, I feel that someone has been really looking at a situation here because they feel such a strong bond with it and they've really been standing their ground about what they want with love. But they're having a lot of difficulties about moving something forward with you. I'm just saying what the cards are saying. I kept looking. Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. A lot, a lot of cups of love there, but this is a person who constantly gets tied up in their head about something here out of fear. Three of Wands, something at a distance, that beautiful golden opportunity because they can't stop thinking about that Six of Cups connection because they feel you're their divine counterpart. Aquarians. Somebody who's willing to fight for this. I don't know what's going on. They want to fight for this because I feel it's somebody who emotionally feels you've walked away but they don't want you to walk away because there's something about you that they can't leave alone all right I, you know i am um, that's enough okay i'm just going to say i'll look at their intentions okay and i'm just going to say this that you know everybody goes through things in life have strength and courage under the deck and if two people are meant to be together, they can work something out because this person wants to turn the boat around and come towards you because you're their divine counterpart. Just saying. But they did get pulled in something. They have a lot of remorse. Intentions, spirit guides, love crossing for my Aquarians. Tell me about the love crossing intentions towards Aquarius. What else do you want to tell me so I can tell Aquarians? About the love crossing intentions. Anything else? There's that Queen of Pentacles. That's somebody, you know, Knight of Love, Two of Wands, and Strength. This is somebody who is coming into a lot of nurturing energy and it's someone who wants to move something here forward. It's like now they're starting to have the key of what's been blocking them. I just feel that I need a little water here. I do apologize. And I have it with strength and courage with the four of wands. This is some strength and courage with the four of wands. Somebody who has an immense amount, it's big Leo, but this is an immense amount of strength and courage to push gates open. I do believe they, they want to come into, I feel somebody views you as the queen of pentacles, Aquarius. And they, ha they, they got the night of love for you. All right. I have the Emperor sideways. I have the tower in reverse. Well, apparently they haven't torn something down for the Ten of Cups. So, you know, Ten Cups of Love, Ten Cups of Happiness, their intentions towards you is they really do want to come towards you. But first they know they need to take care of some business. I don't know what their business is, but they need to take care of it because that tower is not down and it's the Emperor sideways. I have the Magician in front of me. And I have it with that eager page of wands. Page of wands, very young um, fire energy. But this is someone who's really trying to create something here. I mean, if I was going to have to speculate, they want to get something new started with you, Aquarians. They're really trying to make something happen here. They're really putting it out there. What? They want to get to you, Aquarians. I, I don't know who this is, but somebody wants you, okay? Four Swords, it's someone who has been doing a lot of downtime, a lot of rest, a lot of rejuvenation. Hermit, Virgo energy, it's somebody who's done a lot of introspection about their life, themselves, their inner being and things around them. I have the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. It's someone who is going back and forth about how to achieve something here so they can feel whole. They want, they want to master something, Aquarius. What do they want to master? They want to master a new beginning with love and it's with justice because they have a new truth a new clarity and now they're working on being the king of pentacles 
I'm just going to say right now that the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy, but it's someone I feel who had to go through something, still not quite through it yet, but they do have a whole new truth and new clarity about things in their life that have been out of whack. They want everything fair and balanced. I just feel they haven't come into the full emperor energy yet because something in their life, I'm going to say it needs to come down. They want to rebuild something new with you. Their intentions are... They're trying to figure out how to do this with you. That's what I feel. I mean, this is an eager page. And this is someone who is trying to do a balancing act with everything in their life right now. How am I going to do this? But I have the Almighty Manifester and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you right now, it's somebody coming on in for you. They are. It's your season. You're coming back into the sun. And when Aquarius comes back into the sun, Aquarians shine. They have the key now. They know how to move forward. Let's see what happens. But this is what I have for you. This is all I'm going to look today because those energies will shift. But for you, happy birthday. And I will see you in a week, week, week and a half. I'll probably do a birthday bonus, of course, for my beautiful Aquarians. You guys, many blessings to all of you. If you did enjoy this and it helped you and it resonated, remember to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like. Thank you, Aquarians, for all your love and support. My Aquarians, thank you. Wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Have a great day.